The community is coming together to support a dedicated police officer, friend, and father. William Bove, former NYPD and Greenville police officer, was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer in January. Joining us in studio now, and thank you for your service. Thank you for being here. Well, of course, thank you for having me. Uh, it's a pleasure. Tell us a little bit about what, what led you into uh, law enforcement. You know, I came from a, a family of law enforcement. Um, my uncle, my uncle Dom, was a dedicated police officer and retired as a sergeant in Harrison, New York. Um, my grandfather was a chief of county police. Uh, and Marine for uh, World War II. My uncle's, my uncle's father was a lieutenant in Harrison, so I, you know, I have cousins that were on the job in New York City, and I just wanted to be able to give back and, and make a difference in the communities. And when you grow up looking up to those guys, you know what it's all about. And, we, and we've got some pictures of, of you throughout career. I, what is it about you, what is it about those years in law enforcement that, uh, that have been so incredible? I, I was actually allotted so many wonderful opportunities. Um, you know, my, my parents always raised me to, to never give up and, and always strive to uh, fulfill my dreams. And when I got onto the NYPD, one of the uh, people I was in the academy with actually said that I was, uh, told them that I was an opera singer in college. And I trained at SUNY Purchase in New York and Uncle Jack, my voice teacher, still best friends with him. And uh, they auditioned me and I ended up singing at Madison Square Garden for my graduation. And then from there I sang with the the ceremonial unit, thanks to uh, Lieutenant Giorgio and Detective Amy Pape, I was able to perform all over the country, major sporting events for the Yankees, the Mets, the Giants, and uh, went as far as Tokyo, Japan with the NYPD band. That is incredible. But, you know, you grew up seeing all these law enforcement uh, heroes in front of you. What was it about singing? You just knew you had something? Uh, Jack Trussell and Hugh Murphy for the uh, Conservatory of Music and Purchase saw something in me and pulled me out of an audition for chorus and gave me an opportunity Very to cool. train to be an opera singer. Well, and it seems like you take every opportunity. That's life, you know. You, you do what you can to, uh, to to elevate the people around you. And you're singing the national anthem. Uh, you know, people might see it at a Swamp Rabbits game or this past Saturday at Palmetto Heroes Hike. What was it like? You know, it's I've always been dedicated to service and something like singing on Saturday at the Palmetto Heroes Hike and, and the 9-11 ceremonies I've done, just, it's, it's a humbling experience and it's, it's a great honor for me to be able to contribute something in honor of these people who have come before me in law enforcement and also in the military and have sacrificed so much. And it's just a small token of my appreciation and my love for this country that I'm able to go out and do that. And that's the stuff that makes people want to support you because that's what you've been doing all your life. You know, your, your cancer diagnosis changes a lot. Um, how did you, how were you diagnosed? How are you keeping your chin up from there? Uh, you know, I, I've come to grips with the diagnosis. Um, I'm, I'm, I have cancer, but I'm not sick. I refuse to let myself be sick. I have a nine-year-old at home, my, my son Dylan, who is, is my whole world. And I owe it to him to never give up on anything and to keep fighting. Um, I noticed about a year ago I was slowing down. I just didn't feel right. Everybody told me, ah, you're getting old, and I refused to accept that. Um, and then around Thanksgiving, I, I started having severe abdominal pains, and uh, I was originally diagnosed with diverticulitis. The treatments for that didn't work, so I, I pushed to have a, uh, a colonoscopy, even though I was considered too young for one. And with that, the amazing, amazing medical staff at Prisma, uh, my oncologist, Dr. Kuhlman, Dr. Height, um, the, the, the nursing staff at Baptist Easley, who are in the cancer center, are just phenomenal. Um, I went in for surgery. They opened me up, and they said, oh, it's stage four. And I said, well, I hope you're in for a fight. And, then, and that's it. I mean, just, just have to keep my chin up. There's, there's no accepting defeat. And that's what you, you encourage people to do. You know, stay ahead of your health, know what's happening, but, but face it all head on. You've, you've endured cycles of chemotherapy. Your journey ahead has surgery and medical treatment. So you've, you've taken early retirement from law enforcement to, to focus on what matters in life. Yeah, I, I, definitely, I definitely think people need to get checked. Um, it's an embarrassing thing to talk about. Nobody wants to talk about things as intimate as, as colorectal cancer. It's, it's, I make great jokes about it now, but <laughs> it's, you, you have to do it. And, and my younger brother was the first person that I called, my, my brother Alex, and I said, bro, I love you. Go in and get checked. And he did. And there's a lot of options out there for us. And mm -hmm. if you get checked, you can actually help your family members. I tested positive for two mutations in my genes. 
Bad thing is, I have two mutations. I have colorectal cancer. The good thing is, anybody who's blood related to me can now go out and have that genetic testing for free within a certain time period. And maybe it'll save my son this problem, my cousins, you know, even aunts and uncles. Go out and get checked. Just, just do it. If not for yourself, do it for the people you love. Yep, that's what makes this fight worth it, and that awareness is everything. Next month, you're going to Jacksonville, Florida. You've got scans at Mayo Clinic. You've got a lot of people supporting you and cheering you on, and uh, we want to put the information on screen for Saturday's event. But anything you want people to know before we, we tell them about that? Just stay positive. There's people out there who, who are there to support you. I'll be out there to support you. It, it's just what you got to do. And this event on Saturday, it's really humbling. I, people that I haven't spoken to in years have, have reached out, and some very close friends have, have organized this event that, that we're going to put the information up on at Fairway Ford. And it really is just a humbling experience. I'm just a beat cop from New York, and the way they stepped up really is, it, it really, it's what's helping me move on and keep going. You deserve all the support in the world. It's what you've been doing for other people. We wish you well. Thank We're going to put that information on screen. The fundraiser event is at Fairway Ford this Saturday from 11 to 2 o'clock. There will be food from the Inked Chef food truck. Also, Donut NV will be there. They've got live music, much more happening there. And for anybody who's unable to attend, there's a GoFundMe page to donate. We've got that information. That link will be on accesscarolina.com. We're back after this.